Hi guys, this is Dr. Venkatesh and Navar from School of Oral Sciences at Team University, Nandit Maharashtra. Today we are going to be deal with the food waste management tools and its techniques. So let's begin. So what is mean by waste? Waste is nothing but anything in wrong form, in wrong concentration and wrong place. Is nothing but a waste. Waste according to generally classified in three different categories according to its states according to the degradability factor and according to its effect on human health so let's see first physical state it are again divided into three different states or categories that is solid liquid as well as gaseous one second one it's biodegradability it's biodegradability it's again classified into two different stages that is biodegradable or non-biodegradable and lastly the effects related one the effects of human wealth that is hazardous and non hazardous so these are the some tools and techniques of food waste management generally utilized in india and around the world for segregation of food waste that is the sorting of or segregating the waste of organic and acquired from it of food waste it is a vegetable one or non vegetable or a miscellaneous one and that again transferred into methanation process a biogas or composting pits or etc so here is the techniques of collection of food waste in the society so in india it's a traditional one peoples are al always living in human in society household or as well as in community one so here we are utilizing a decentralized system of food waste management for managing biodegradable waste so according to its level a level one is a household second one is an institutional one and third one is a community one so generally the waste while collecting the collecting people doesn't know the waste which had which contained it's food waste it's a miscellaneous one it's a meat waste or it's uh, residuals of which fruit and vegetables or it's a byproducts of meat waste so that we need to generally classify it so it gets benefited while segregating to community or the community clearing purposes or municipal corporations while it's handling one so so this is the miscellaneous food waste or vegetable market waste are generally dumped in india or anywhere around the world it's a water or aquatic systems so it showing its impact it's the one of the pics i am given here so next what is called a food waste so i show one fruit or a pineapple uh, one apple here so which one is called a waste so first one is a fresh one or second one is little bit eaten and uh, kept left it over and third one is eaten by both sides and left a half portions of it or last one it's eaten almost a third 70 60 to 70 percent and a last having a eaten almost 90 percent which is called a waste so it's depend upon the person's eating habits and it's a capacity or a mindset what he have to eat or how much they have to eat next so food waste is any solid liquid or food substances raw cooked which is a discarded or intended or required to be a discarded food waste are the organic residues generated by the processing handling storage sale preparation cooking and severing of foods at at this stage you are very well known what is mean by waste here is a pix i shown a great examples of it any solid liquid or food substances raw or cooked which is discarded or indented or liquid to be a discarded so food waste are the organic substances or organic residues generated by the processing handling storage cell preparing cooking and severing of foods okay so why it's reducing of food waste is important because we need to prepare a food for agriculture agriculture require water agriculture require a lots of human power it's electricity it's of what we call a manure and all the stuff and it's required some specific time to grow some 
grains and then it comes in your what you call a hand as in food grains so that's why it's more important so sources of food loss and waste it is the food supply chain wasted to form to a consumer just from a beginning a farms growing harvesting and transporting in during the farm the most of the waste grains at the farm vegetables fruits are wasted near about 1 to 2 percent or 3 to 5 percent because almost uh, transportation harvesting and growing farmers are losing their valuable grains in the form of that then processing and packaging the processors are always wasting the food stuff because they want a pure good quality material for transportation as well as packing and storing in these things so processors also include a distributors too so next a wholesaler or retailers while overstocking or keep uh, improper retention or quality wholesale or retailer what do they do they generally store the foods in their stores and while handling or storing they kept open or uh, by make uh, what we call rats or piles make a disturb or they make a uh, vanish while storing them so so food services large portion sizes or food preparations etc so what are the food services the hotel restaurants uh thalas and all the stuffs they are preparing their foods and serving for you people while preparing they almost wasting a one to two percent a daily doses or daily percent so consumers while buying too much food or confusion about to dates how much you have to eat how much they have capacity to eat how much they want to eat or how much or how the mentality of that people's they want to eat they want to maintain uh, their body or they want to maintain their habits or they want to maintain their diet and confusion about the dates too because some of them having a fast some of them having traditional habits and that they are going to be forgetting they have to how they have what they want to prepare how they want to consume and what they have to consume so this is the sources of food loss and wastage food supply chain in india as well as around the world so reasons to reduce the food waste wasted food is equal to wasted money and nutrition obviously because not wasting a money is a problem but also wasting a nutrients is very definitely a valuable problem because one every hours four to five lakhs of children are facing a problem of food or malnutrition in india or around the world due to a lack of nutrients nutrients habits so way to prevent spoil spoilage buy only the amount you use within a few days these are the habits these are the techniques you have to adopt to to prevent or sp spoilage the foods so you need to just pick up whatever the materials whatever the food grains you required for few days wash pro produce right before use wash produce before you using I will repeat the statement because it's simply showing before you want to use wash and then before you use. So learn which fruits vegetables should stored in the refrigerators. So it is the technique how to store, how to store, how to prepare, how to sanitize, and how to clear or how to uh, what we call kept in hygienic in the refrigerators. Learn the trick techniques. There is nothing is a uh, 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 what we call undoubtful to learning in these things. Separate produce that is known to cause others to ripen too quickly. So separate produce that is known to be cause others to ripen too quickly. So kept separately to that is cause others to ripen too quickly because while we are to collect uh, putting all the fruit and vegetables in collective bucket they make a ripen a quickly so more ways to prevent or help uh, food wastage to get creative and leftovers transform meals into soups or salads or sandwiches cut over leaf uh, leaf overs or meats or vagaries use them as trapping or salad or cooked grains wrap in a tortilla or stuff into pita for a satisfying sandwich so its economic impact of food waste growing processing and transforming food of which 25 to 40 percent is ultimately wasted the 
the number you choose that is 25 to 40 percent is ultimately wastage is the economic impact manufacturer and disposal expense retailers shrink the disposal cost consumer out of pockets cost etc because higher high earning peoples are consuming more or they are purchasing more and wasting more so that's make a impact of others package to consumering while buying the products so next is an enormous impact so energy water land associated with the food production of calories never consumed because we are more producing we are more wasting and we're more losing these things greenhouse gas generation when food scrap degrade in landfills you might be seen greenhouse gases when food scraps degrade in landfills that is methane generation so it's the social impact 50 million americans have food in scarcity i purposefully taken this statement because generally around the world people say the americans are rich so 50 million americans have food scarcity in their fooding habits enough nutrition calories are grown produced each year to feed every american just consider the statement every enough nutrition calories are grown and produced each year to feed every american so next is a food generation versus disposal a diagram it's showing how much of food waste in tons is going to be reduced or wasted in umbria so total generation total generation total disposal and total production source reduction reduce the volume of the food waste generated at the source time feed hungry people donate extra food banks coops kitchens and shelters to these and feed animals to divert food scraps to animal feed industry uses to provide wet oil or rendering and fuel conversion and food scraps and digestion of recovery energy so food diversion in the this manner and composting a create a nutrient rich soil enrichment for agriculture purpose and lastly landfill incineration last report for disposal that is near about this is the reversible food waste generation versus disposal food waste hierarchy recovery hierarchy system okay so total food waste deposited by sector so this is again i am going to be showing a us data us food waste disposal data that residential is 40% full services in restaurant 20% peak services restaurant 30% grocery store 11% institutional 10% and industrial 2% so this is the food waste management how to reduce food plan ahead but what you need store correctly cook the right amount and eat all store left over for later recycle what you have you what you haven't eat so whatever the materials is left over you can recycle in tomorrow's diet or use in breakfast in some part of it or utilizing or preparing some kind of soups soups and all the stuff 